here's my original photo that I want to paint from and I want to abstract it right down and make it a very simple painting but what I want to keep is that bright sunshine on the front of the building because that's my goal so the first thing I did was to play around with it on the computer just to enhance the colors a bit to see what was there hidden amongst the grays and we've got some lovely purples and yellowy greeny colors there and from then I wanted to to draw out a, a little thumbnail sketch to see what to put in and what to leave out so for instance I left out that whole guddle of buildings behind the wall and just put in a single tree and on the right hand side of the picture I took out one or two buildings there as well which weren't necessary and replaced them with a telegraph pole so I've got a simple composition that's very striking and I just wanted then to work on the tonal values for it to see what would work tonally and I quite like the little sketch at the bottom so I'm going to work with that one which I think shows up the bright sunshine on the front of the house I then did a couple of little color studies uh, to see what might work and I really like the one on the left with the the purple and the the yellow because those two colors are opposite each other on the color wheel they're complementary and so they bring a bit of a zing to the painting so I'm using water mixable oils and just three colors ultramarine blue cadmium yellow medium and pyrrol red and then I've got two spots of titanium white, one to mix with the blues and the cool colors and one to mix with the, the warm colors so they don't get muddled up and go muddy. Now I'm painting on a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter square MDF panel that's been coated with gesso and a light coat of acrylic paint in orange. And the first thing I need to do is to mark out the drawing. So I'm using a little bit of acrylic paint here just watered down black acrylic paint so it'll dry quickly and won't muddy the other colors that I put on and I just want to very quickly just sketch in the the basics of the building and one or two of the trees as well keeping it very simple it's got this lovely sort of triangular composition to it which which I like so just put in a little bit of detail but not very much at all and mark in a little bit of the trees roughly where they're going to go just to make sure that it looks about right and it's going to work I think that's good and then from then on I need to block in some of the colors so I've mixed up some colors that I think will work according to my little color swatch and put those on and once I'm happy that the the colors are working together and the right tonal value then I can come in and block in the painting with those colors. I'm leaving a little bit of the under painting to show through, but basically coming in just with those colors and blocking in the whole picture very simply, really. I don't want to get involved in details just yet until the whole of the blocking in is done and I can see that the picture's working. And it's at this stage they're beginning to think yes I need to put some details in but how much how much to put in that's always the question and I think the answer always is less is more so this stage the third stage the final stage of the painting is just putting in just enough detail to make it work just enough to describe what's there and to attract the eye but not too much that it becomes confusing. I want to keep the painting loose, impressionistic, slightly abstract. It works because of the strong composition that I've worked out before with the thumbnails. And I know it's going to work because of that. So any detailing I do now is just a little bit of icing on the cake because I, the picture's already working. But it does need some other bits and pieces in there just to entertain the eye, just to keep it interesting. So just add a little bit of detail to the trees, a little bit of light and shade on them, a little bit of palm tree there, just a little bit of definition of it, but only minimal amounts really. I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can because I don't want to distract from the striking composition. So just a few windows and doors really to sort of finish off and see when I put these in 
how it certainly brings the whole thing to life. Just a few little dark marks, very simple details really, and suddenly the front of the building comes to life. You have to be careful about not putting in too much, so just keeping it very simple and keep standing back and looking at it, deciding what needs to go in, what doesn't need to go in, and making sure that I stop before I go too far. So there's the final picture, there's the photograph it came from, and I hope you've enjoyed watching me paint this demonstration.